what were, what were some of the positives that you came away from Saturday's win? You know, number one, our guys came out ready to play. And uh, we executed extremely well early on. And, and our offensive line played really, really well. And, I mean, that was the whole basis of stuff. Uh, we wanted to run the football. We've got some RPO stuff off of it that executed extremely well. But it executed well because we were able to run the football. And then when we had the throws, our quarterbacks really did a good job of making the decisions on making some of the tags, what routes we wanted to run versus the coverage. And so it was, it was a whole operation of everybody just really coming out ready to play. Um, you know, we finished well in the second half. I was a little disappointed in, in the first half. We came out really fast, then we had a little bit of a lull. We got to take care of that. We had we had the ball laying on the ground a couple times. We can't have that in the future. And so, you know, a lot of great things, a lot of great teaching things. We're very proud of our kids and the way they came out. So you had run the ball, you had over 400 yards, had four rushing touchdowns. Uh, I mean, just talk a little bit about that. You know, number one, it still starts up front. Our offensive line has been communicating in their calls, and that's really where it starts, is that they got to be able to communicate so that we're on the right scheme, who they're blocking to, and then they, they really were played very physical. And when you watch tape, we were coming off low and hard, and that's what we got to do to be able to run the football. And then we've got some backs that are also really good. There's a couple of occasions where we weren't real clean into blocking, and all of a sudden running backs are good enough, they're still making good plays. But for the most part, it really started up front, and then we've got a whole stable of running backs. Um, and even, even down the stretch, Isaiah Smallwood breaks that long run. But I think we've got really about five tailbacks that are really playing really, really well right now. And then we've also, our tight ends played exceptionally well for us. I think that's one of the areas that we're going to be able to um, really win a lot of matchups over the year is kind of on the edge because we've got good tight ends to set the edge or with some stuff they're doing of really sealing the back door on our, on our zone runs. For his first game in the, the, the offensive system, Nick Gerber looked extremely comfortable. What do you contribute that to? Well, I think a couple things. Again, number one, because we were able to run the football, but also our receivers were really run, running good routes. And I think Nick has really studied the game. And he has spent a lot of time coming in this summer to meet. He spent time coming in extra, even during the fall. It's a young, he's a young man that he wants to excel. And he has done a great job. Um, you know, the, the other night, he played almost flawless in that game. And so if we can have that, he's keeping us out of bad plays with checks. And a lot of our stuff is actually some checks at the line of scrimmage. And that, and he's doing a very good job of understanding what we want to do, how we want to do it. And then he was making great decisions in the pass game of when to throw it, when not to throw it. And so it's, it's just a great credit to him and to the guys around him. What challenges does Angelo State present? Well, Angelo is, is going to be a more physical and a much more experienced team. Uh, you, you watch them on tape, they run around extremely well. They are a very athletic team. They'll run a lot of defensive line games. They're a physical team. They can get down, they can play in press man coverage. They'll play some variations of some zone. But I mean, it's a situation that we're going to see more different alignments and more different things this week. I think one of the big keys, again, is going to be in our offensive line, be able to communicate what front we're blocking because they're going to be in some 3-4. May be in some three three. They may be in some four down. And if you're not blocking the right rules, then they're going to get guys free, and they're, they're guys that can make the plays. So it's going to be a different challenge. But I think our guys will be ready. How fun was it to call a football game on Saturday? You know, it was it was absolutely great getting back in the stadium, having a great crowd there that night. It was it was phenomenal, and just the excitement, the energy in the stadium. But you know, we were the only Division two school in the in a country that played. And I think that was phenomenal. I'm, I'm very proud of our administration and of Coach Hughes of really setting the tone and saying, you know what, we can do this. And there's ways we can do it. We can do it right. We can still take care of our athletes' safety. So I, I'm very proud of them. And I, I'm, you know, I think it was great that they did that. But calling that game, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun.